What up, loved ones? What it do? Spotty Young right here. You know where I'm from. Trip Game, man. Check out the homie Dusty Vision TV, man. He speaks the truth, whether you like it or not. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. I encourage everybody out there to check out his YouTube channel. Like I said, it's Bade, P-A-R-E, Young, Y-O-U-N-G. And he has a very interesting story. And we'll probably get a little, probably just hit the tip of the iceberg on it today. So I encourage everyone to check out his channel and get his full story. But uh, let's take it all the way back. Um, Tell everyone where you were born. All right. So I was born in the Philippines. And then uh, I came to uh, the U.S., LA, uh, Los Angeles, to be exact. Uh, when I was like nine, ten years old, man, I just got culture shock. It's a whole different world from the Philippines. And uh, man, I was just doing my thing, and I, I wanted to be cool, so I started hanging out with um, all kinds of people till I finally found my people, and then eventually got into Jeff Rock's gang. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna kind of take it a little bit slower because um, I definitely want people to to kind of get the breadth of 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 your your, your journey. Now we're we're talking nineteen ninety nine two thousand era is when your mother petitioned for you and your brothers to come here to the United States, right? Yes, exactly. Yep. Okay. Now, when you moved to the U.S., where did you where did you move to? Okay, my our, my first uh, apartment was in uh, North Hills, Partinia. It's, this is this is around uh, this is in the San Fernando uh, Valley eight one eight and that's where um, uh, what is that hood Columbus near that Columbus Street that's uh, I was actually in their hood that's where that's the apartments that we lived at and the apartment specifically is the manager is a Filipino and there's a lot of Filipinos in there so there's like a lot of us in there so it's like half on the other side like almost all Filipinos on the other side is like Mexican so. You know, it was just it, it was they were we were just all connected somehow. We used to go to uh, Monroe, uh, Monroe High School, James Monroe. If I don't know if you're familiar with that. Okay, okay. Now, yeah, you said it was a culture shock. It had to be right moving from the Philippines to Los Angeles. Yes, it was. It was because when before before I, uh, before I went to US, like you know, I was expecting. Uh, snow and then white people and stuff like that and i went to lax i'm like what the hell there's a bunch of like asian mexican black you know what i mean where's the snow is it a hot in here what's going on and then uh i just loved it because i I haven't seen my mom for a long time and she did her best to 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 come get us because my mom and dad are separated so and i was the eldest and then so when she came petitioned us i i just you know i was just man, it's like a whole different world, man. And I'm, I was finally on my mom's uh, side because I was in my dad's side for a long time since I was a little kid because I was born in, in the Philippines. Uh-huh. Now, when did you, yeah. when did you quote unquote jump off the porch? Oh, trip out on this. <laughs> well, I started off first because, you know, I was completely oblivious to the culture at first. So <clears throat> I, I transitioned before from, um, from I started skating first and I got good at it, man. And then I have a lot of skater homies, man. I, uh, as a matter of fact, during that time, that's when I used to skate and go inside Van Nuys and Valerio where the Cambodian project was at with the ABZs, the youngsters one. And uh, I thought they were my homies. I thought they were my friends at the time, man. And, you know, I was skating with them. I knew all of them. But you're always going to have some somebody that's going to be set tripping like, and fuck, you know, fuck flip-flop and fuck Filipinos. So I, 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 I didn't know why. They were tripping on me. I thought we were like homies. I thought we were the same because I had your back when you guys were going at it with the Mexicans at school. So I thought we were, we were cool. And then, but there were just only a few individuals. I'm not saying all of them were set tripping or race tripping or whatnot. Because, like, like I said, I was still oblivious at the at the race thing and in 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 that area and the gang banging thing. Like you know, because <clears throat> before that, I was hanging out with. Uh, when I started getting jumped by the ABZ, the Cambodians ABZ that I was telling you about in Venice and Valerio, I got jumped at school. Uh, they warned me. They said, "Don't, don't go in there." 
because on the, on the thing, don't don't go to the little fiesta that they had. The, the little carnival, I don't know, I'm not sure. It, this was a middle school, Fulton. Mm. And uh, people was warning me, don't go. But I said, no, nah, fuck it, I'm going to go anyways. And then I went. And then uh, there you go. <laughs> I got jumped by uh, two of them. And then uh, I'm like, oh, what the fuck? So it's all good. So anyway, uh, some of the Filipinos in there, they, they saw me and then they started talking to me. Like, hey, come here, come kick it with us. And those were the CPB. Those were the crazy Pinoy boys. Mm-hmm. They were like a tag banger. They're like a wannabe gang. They're just like, they're just like a little party crew. But, you know, they, they, they'll, they'll fight though, you know. Mm-hmm. They're, they also, they also, they're also, they can get violent too if they want to. See the city bus. She don't want to ride the city bus. Because she's new to the town, I advise Look for truth, the ears are lost in the sound Brains are lost in the cloud, dead from all of the smoke That's the reason why the ostrich hides his head in the ground That's the reason why the monster even puts on a mask And we turn the city green to blend in with the grass The city scene made a crash, I fell in love with it twice Had to tell her goodbye cause she fell in love with the night I couldn't keep up, I tried to bring it down from the sky But the clouds were so nice that she took a nap for a while And when she woke up, I finally had a kid and a lady Bone told me saw the other day with the baby ain't life crazy i think about it once in a while when it's cloudy outside and the sun goes none of these drugs do what they supposed to yeah and what's the point of hurting people that you're close to yeah most of my life i've been following stars knowing i ain't really had to go that far come to find out is the truth i already know yeah Spinning out a cylinder, moving, I'm in reverse Committing crimes of passion, judging jury at first But I love that girl, been my woman since day one Had a couple of kids in the house, the job done So what happened while we ain't loving no more? Maybe I should take some blame instead of taking the score But me and more don't go, I'm begging you gotta change We can work it out even through pleasure and pain You gotta chill with the liquor girl, you get too friendly Who you talking to baby, that's my man Henry That's what I'm talking about baby, just sit your ass Damn. You wanted to have some fun, me take you out on the town So you can shake a tail feather, maybe we cut a rug Drinking and driving on the low key, rumming a jug Give me a hug, wrong nigga baby You drive your nigga crazy in the morning, won't remember shit I know it's kinda hazy None of these drugs do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point of hurting people that you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah Ready, ready, set, set, go. go. Put your seatbelt on, up and away, we bout to go. We bout the to road go. is gon' get windy, promise not to lose control. control. The final destination's bound to captivate your soul. And so, many MCs inspired to be one of the baddest motherfuckers to touch the MIC. Then the law came life, now your dreams deferred. All the years of writing rhymes captured in a blur. My ponders, contemplating the worst. Put all your energy into the music, now you're looking for thirst to be quenched. That's a bitch. Paying dues upon dues. Keep on telling yourself I'ma make it Others believe in you too And it's true You can make it if you try There's levels to everything Better believe it Cause you can deny it And never achieve it It won't come easy Just put in the work And know your worth Continue to rise Cause all we do is capitalize None of these drugs Do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point Of hurting people That you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah What up loved ones, what it do? Spotty Young right here, you know where I'm from Trip Game, man Check out the homie Dusty Vision TV, man. He speaks the truth, whether you like it or not. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job and some food to eat.
So yeah, it, was, it was really cracking like that between the the Asian um, nationalities, like Cam- Cambodians weren't, you know, fill in the Filipinos and, and things like that? Uh, that. That was my experience. Mm-hmm. That was my experience. And uh, I, uh, I had no idea it was like that until they showed me it was like that. Uh. And then I started learning more and more that, hey, those are different from us, man. This is this is us right here. We have a lot of Filipino games, just in case you don't know. And that's when I started to learn more of the history and, you know, according to their point of view. And um, uh, that's about it, man. And then eventually, after uh, being in crazy, pin- the tag bang that I was telling you about, the crew, the CPB thing, one of our older homies from CPB went to LACC, which is the LA Community College or something like that. That's where, uh, that's when he met uh, the real Jeff Rock dude that was that was around the area became friends with them got jumped into jeff rock and then that guy uh went back to the valley for uh, to, to the cpb we had a little meeting and convinced half of the cpb to join jeff rock hmm. yeah okay so bam just out of nowhere jeff rock came, came back to the scene in in the san fernando valley in 818 even though it was already an old gang and people already thought it already had died out and to yeah. the you know, to the best of your knowledge, um, who yeah. h- how how did Jeff Rock? Because you said they kind of revived. Um, how did they come about in the first place? Like, what's the history behind Jeff Rock's? All right, uh, <clears throat> from from what I was told, uh, it originated in West LA. That's really where the hood is at: Maplewood, Western Santa Monica, K Town, and. We went there. They, they showed us the hood. They showed us where we're supposed to tag, tagged up at the wall. They, they used to take us to the enemy's hood and telling us to cross them out. And then don't trip. You got your back. Somebody comes in, we'll blast them. You know, you know what I mean? You know how that goes. And then, um, so I just started. Then I saw a lot of things in my own eyes, like oh, how easy it is to to drop somebody. How there was no police, and you just you could just get away, man. It, it was just easy. And then, um, so it just started to become more and more serious. And me as a little kid, my mind, because I got into heaven when I was 12. They, they actually went easy on me. Supposed to be three guys, but there was only one dude that, that beat me up. I tried to fight back, but it was, he makes my shit. <laughs> and uh, so after that, they, they gave me a choice. Do you want a cigarette burn or a big ass tattoo? And at the time, it's like, what the fuck? I'll just take the cigarette burn, man, because everybody else took the cigarette burn. So I took it on my right hand. If you're from the, the uh, uh, Brownstones local slick, the Mexican slick, they, they get it on the left hand. And if you're a girl, you get the cigarette burn on your ankle. So, so yeah, so, and, you know, uh, all of them were my homies. And uh, I found, like, I, I, I felt like I found my family, my, my uh, it's like a brotherhood thing. And everybody had each other's back. So... You know, and then we would gang bang, we would shoot people, we would stab people, they were trying to do it to us. And it's like, it was kind of fun, the, the adrenaline rush and the, the, the power that you feel when you have a, a gun. And then they're giving you all these free guns and then it's like, damn, you know, and, and you, you want to make a name for yourself. So that was my mentality then. That was like, as, as a youngster, man, I was just like, I wanted to be cool. I wanted to... Um, make a name for myself because it was easy. Oh, a colony is coming. But it's from Venus. And if you're still alive, I think you'll see how we differ. And I agree with you about what they call music. I'm at a crossroads every damn day Looking back in my past when I sleep But living on the edge, not doing enough Iniquity down to my feet What do I do when I need a little food And I gotta get the money for the rent Fall to my knees, pray to the Lord Come on, son, here you give me some money, repent What? What? Thank you I really love you, baby, so I spank you Life is a west straight, fucking you up Living in a prison, I'ma shank you so what's love got to do when you're winning with my heart on my sleeve, I'm a foe But she said she loved me, she wanted to hug me under my sheets, so it's get told And I spy with my little mind's eye, dreams that are beyond What you can see in daylight, baby, ignore the rain And everything 
gonna be okay And while the world burns I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gonna be okay Yeah What are the chances? You're picking a flight, we're leaving tonight Pack up your bags, we're leaving this place and this baggage Cause what can we do? While Rome is collapsing But not in a day, we'll be okay Let's hit the Amalfia Jackson I'll Pull up the map then Cause I'm through keeping up with these Joneses Don't care what they're posting You know, you only see what they show you Let's fall off the grid then Cause we don't owe nothing to no one Darling, just listen, it'll be just like starting over and I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gon' be okay And while the world burns I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay Wanna be on a beach somewhere Be kicked up in my chair Smoke all up in the air Clouds are looking lovely My girl is by my side My gun is by my side But why do cameras always make me look so ugly? And the smile fades when they disappear Till it's only you wishing someone cared Hilling out the window Was anybody there? Does anybody care? Was the rope in the fucking chair? And since God wanna play these fucking games I'ma take it there I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gon' be okay And while the world burns I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay let me slide on in like I hit a home run Bottle of the night, I get the job done Celebrating life, I buy bottles like I wanna Pour some out for the homies, I'm on ya Reminisce, swing in memory Every time I blaze a tree, voices in my head Keep on urging me, tell them about the story Hate the game from the hood All about the paper, many years misunderstood Thinking I could one day make it on the big stage Amazed at what I say, metaphorical wordplay Fucking up your frequency Catching moving and grooving to a kind of time of state Nah, not stay high, chilling, embracing the vibe Taking you on a ride, a mission never denied As long as you recognize the eyes in the sky I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gon' be okay And while the world burns I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay what up, loved ones? What it do? Spotty Young right here. You know where I'm from. Trip Game, man. Check out the homie Dusty Vision TV, man. He speaks the truth, whether you like it or not. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some Yeah, so you joined Jeff Rocks and... That leads you into your journey, you know, behind bars. Um, talk to me about your time at Silmar Juvie Hall and, and yeah, just to talk to me about your experience there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I've, I've actually been there before at Silmar Juvie Hall for like a week because I got caught in Poly High. I got kicked out in Poly, Poly High School because somebody snitched on me that I got a, um, a shank and a brass knuckle. So... Somehow, somehow I got snitched out and I went to the house for that. And then I came out and I thought I was cool. And then, uh, of course, th of course that didn't teach me a lesson. <laughs> Cause you know, and then, uh, after that, I went, I, I went at it again, man. I wanted that again. Uh, every day, bro, every day we would go out. Either we're going to tag, cross somebody out or put our, put our hood on the wall or, hopefully uh, I'll get lucky enough to catch a, catch an enemy, you know? And, but before that, uh, what, do, what do you call this? Even if we do catch enemies, 
it's like they're gonna run anyways. You know what I mean? Because they they're gonna run for their lives because they we have this reputation that when you see us, you're just gonna run or else, you know, unless you're ready for it. You know, so you feel you feel uh, for me it was a, a false sense of bravery because my mindset was I was full of. Uh, I was smoking cigarettes to calm my nerves, so I'm thinking I'm brave, and then I'm high from all this other stuff. So I'm thinking, like, I'm, I'm I'm like a delusional. I'm I'm not lying to myself to thinking I'm a brave man because I have a I have a gun, have a weapon. We're all equal if we have a weapon, no matter how big you are. If you're like the best kung fu fucking fighter or whatever, MMA trainer or fighter, you know, it doesn't matter. Have a gun, you're gonna be easy, man. So that was the mentality. I was as a little kid. I was just like, damn. And then eventually, it came to the point where I caught, I, I got myself uh, stuck in the system, man. You know, I fell to the trap, and I, I caught a 14 years and two strike sentence when I was 15 years old. And that led you to CYA, right? Yes, sir. Damn, After uh, the juvenile yeah. hall for uh, for fighting the case for a whole year some change the best deal that that they gave me was uh 14 years and two strikes and then my mom folks said uh you just take it man because i think if you don't if if you don't take it they're gonna they're gonna freaking um what do you call this they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna take it to trial man and if they take it to trial you're gonna, you're gonna end up getting like a hundred something years or something because my other homeboy was they were they were giving him uh three years and he didn't want to take it because they didn't have that much evidence that he was a gang member. They didn't have, uh, he, he, you know, so he thought he could win. So he took, you know, he fought the three years. They ended up getting freaking uh, 47. Mm. So, and those were, th- those were, those are my homies during our time. So I was like, damn, I'm not going to do all that. So I, <laughs> so I just, fuck it, I just took the deal, man. Damn. And in CYA... Yeah. In CYA, you mentioned on one of your videos that you got over got into over a hundred fights. In CYA, yes, because almost every day over there is freaking uh, is 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 it's all about violence in CYA. Uh, mind you, I was charged as an adult. I wasn't a regular CYA number like a eight nine number or nine zero. Uh, basically, my number was uh, E zero one five eight. So. Uh, the counselor in YA said, uh, yeah, boo, like you think you're getting away because you're not getting time at, but you're getting your points jacked up. I'm like, what the fuck is points? Like, I, I didn't, I, I didn't comprehend what was points. Those were your CDC prison points. So after doing all kinds of crazy stuff in, in YA, not giving a fuck about write-ups, but I mean, I care about the write-ups because even even though I'm, I wasn't catching time, they will still punish you in CYA as far as, well, you can't have this, you can't have that. You're bad. We're going to put you, like, next to the police station where, like, you can't really do much. Like, they're still, you know, they're still trying to make you, uh, they still punish you in, in, in their own way besides the getting more time ad. So I was getting that, and then, um, fuck it, you know. Uh, I got to do what I got to do, and then that's, that, that's when, that's when, after all those years, I've, 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 I've gathered enough points to where my CDC points was like for a, for a level four maximum security for like, you know, so that's probably one of the reasons why, uh, fuck it, we're going to send this little skinny ass kid to freaking uh, Pelican Bay. Yeah. <laughs> You're not even wet. Wet. What's wet? What do you mean what's wet? You landed in the river, but your clothes are all dry. Illusion, that's all. Just an illusion. Like that jukebox playing in the corner. That's an illusion, too. <laughs> Who's really ready to get this shit poppin'? Stay the line in this motherfucker, we not stopping. Lock in the game ahead of our time, but that was 20 years ago. We still killing the rhyme. It's the reunion, unification of the dopest niggas. I still throw it up and I'm still making the figures. I'm a grown ass man with a lot. 
lot to live for Barefoot, walking on the sand and seashore Chilling, living my life to find a better way Overlooking the ocean before retirement day And I'ma get it, because I'm different, not like you Mamba mentality told me to do what I do Creativity, I'm a Libra, I balance the scales Giving my gift to the world like show and tell But don't well, I'm a package and maybe you will buy it Just give it one verse when you listen I'm trying to tell me Open up the two eyes cloudy because of all night smoking on some clone guy fire yeah. Got me higher than the UFO Breathe through your nose, hope that smoke relax, exhale slow Down the rabbit hole we go, never searching for the tricks Freaks come out that night from what they say and they legit Experience, seize the moment, opportunist I make love to the pressure, but I go all in, it seems to exist Don't get me pissed, your whole style gets drowned in the abyss Can't ride my wave, I leave you in a brush, drew back list Swim with the fishes, can't find your body, no reminiscing Now you're wishing, you never fuck with the birth never ending Lesson learned, I'm on your head, lace front perm Pass through your skin, now you addicted, nick a derm Never ever cross the line, you will get burned Just sit back, take notes, and wait your turn I'm a little bit different Then you know it's lights out I be all in my feels Melting into my couch In another time zone In somebody else's house In the twilight zone And the tambourine man Tells me about his whole plan Clouds turning into sand Oceans turning into land There's a gun in my hand And a penny in my pocket And I don't even know If I'ma make it to the rocket Cause they just counted down In the at three now So I'm running through the clouds With my luggage and my bible And a smile on my face Cause I'm in another place Where the turtle wins the race And he throws it in your face I don't give two fucks about it, yeah you know I'm about it, about it Shit, subscribe to the newspaper, read all about it Shit, read the whole book cause the cover's kinda plain I'm a little messed up if you know what I'm, I'm saying I'm a little bit different I don't know why I do what I do I just don't wanna be like you I just don't wanna be like you I'm a little bit different I don't know why I do what I do I just don't wanna be like you I just don't wanna be like you I'm a little bit very shortly. I think they're going to like it here. It's a lovely area. So, so remote, so pleasant, so off the beaten track. Just the perfect spot for a colony, don't you think, Mr. Haley? What up, loved ones? What it do? Spotty Young right here. You know where I'm from. Trip Game, man. Check out the homie Dusted Vision TV, man. He speaks the truth, whether you like it or not. Just give me a little bit of peace a Steady job and some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace a Steady job and some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace Yeah I'm assuming that Because I, I think I, men- I heard you mention that you were a you know, skinny dude um, Do you think that that was one of the reasons why you got into so many fights That you just got tested a lot? Is it safe to say, or were you the one that just was going in there acting a the nut? Oh, okay. Uh, that's, that's a good-ass question. Uh, for, <laughs> for me, I think, <laughs> I think, bro, because, in I mean, we both know how it is. When somebody looks like he's a nice guy, somebody looks like, of course, you're going to try to fight uh, or, 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 or try to uh, get the easy target or whatnot, you know? So... <clears throat> That's what people would think because I wasn't your, like, your fucking, uh, somebody that would, like, looking all raggedy, looking all, like, all tough and stuff. I wasn't like that. I was just a skinny kid. But, so, I guess that's, that I got more susceptible into people testing me. So, that's what makes me more, more violent. And then I got to the point where, all right, <clears throat> since all you guys are calling me out, I'm going to call you guys out too, you know? So let's get it cracking because I'm not catching time anyways. Y'all are catching time, so 
let's see let's see who goes out first mm. yeah because they were they, they were they were uh they were just regular most of them were just regular ya numbers so i'm thinking i'm getting away man because I'm, I'm even calling out the police too um you know i'm trying I'm, I'm trying to uh, chase i'm be chasing the police with the with the bar soap and the sock man. they didn't even want none <laughs> <laughs> Like, I don't give a fuck to where I'm going to the pit anyways, man. Like, you know, fuck yeah. it. And, uh, yeah, I, 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 I participated in every single ride. I didn't rank nothing. Sometimes there will be a three-on-one, two-on-three. And I was just doing my thing, man, uh, to the best of my ability to survive. Because, of course, like, I have a parole date. I know that I have there's there's a light at the end of the tunnel whether it's ten years or fifteen years from now. So if I would just give up and say, what would I give up in the first place? Because I started this, I have you know in in, in my head I have to finish this this tour or what people would call it tour. Let me finish this. Then when I get out, you know, I'll I'll, I'll make amends to my family and to everybody that I have I have a. Uh, uh, wrong you know by being selfish and getting myself caught up and stuck in a system like this yeah yeah and fresh from uh cya that led you to tracy prison correct uh yes sir, that, that's right next door <laughs> there was a pretty quick uh <laughs> easy uh, uh at your drive <laughs> could have walked yeah your drive <laughs> You know, I'm curious. What the hell is this? <laughs> I, I'm I'm curious. I've always, you yeah. know, um, you're you're literally the first um, Asian dude I've had on my program. So I appreciate you sharing your story first off. Um, but I've yeah, always sure. been curious how it is for you know Asian active gang members entering prison because obviously the numbers are stacked against you guys. I mean, the Latins and the and the blacks, you know, pretty much have it number wise. Talk to me about what it's like for an Asian dude who's an active gang member, specifically entering prison. Oh yeah, okay. Well, I I, I believe uh, I think I got one of this story, man. Um, what do you call this? So, so I came from CYA. They took me to the little van on my 18th birthday. Oh, you gotta go. So they took me to. Uh, <laughs> they got me. They they got me. They got me uh, out of there quick. So I went to Tracy from Stockton, Orange Close. So when I went to Tracy, they have this holding tank. They didn't put me in there right away with all the rest of the, the population. They had me separated first. And then I'm thinking like, fuck, they better not put me in there because I, I seen those motherfuckers in there. They were like five times, 10 times bigger than me. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? Anywho, long story short, I ended up, they ended up putting me in there. I was like, what? I'm hella nervous. Like, ah, oh, man, somebody gonna call me out. I'm gonna go to the hole right now. But it wasn't even like that because CYA and CDC are completely different uh, politics. You know, it's, it's, it's different. So I came in there and then I noticed this little uh, Hmong guy, Hmong, Asian, and um, from MOD. I'm not, I think I'm not sure if it's Sacramento, but anyway, somewhere up north. And he just got this confidence look on his face like, 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 like Yoda from things, yeah, man, from the Star Wars or whatever. <laughs> And then, uh, and his his face shows no fear, no nervousness, no nothing like that. And he's right next to all these big ass dudes. So I'm like, if this guy is so confident about his gangster, I'm thinking in my head like, shit, I'm bigger than this guy, you know. So, and then where we're in the holding tank, I'm still culture shock about being with the adults. And then this big ass black dude looked at me and he was like, hey, you, you just came from from YA? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, welcome to the Pinta. <laughs> the black dude said like, pinta you're like ah oh, shit <laughs> yeah, yeah big as bigger than bigger than big hurt man like you know i thought this one was gonna try to like fuck man and then uh i was just like all right but during that time i was still like i don't know who's gonna call me out i'm just like ready for whatever man fuck it but it, yeah my i was mad at the world i just have a lot of hate in my heart during that time
trouble. Oh, <laughs> yeah. As the time goes by and the earth rotates, we gon' fly high up to outer space. Yeah. And we would never fall down. I'm one with the universe, call me the sound. The bass booming in your speaker with the microphone, my possess it's a heater. You better drop it, let go. You can't touch my beats or my flow. Nigga, Kevin Smith, my name, but not the director, we ain't the same, man. I'm a pimp by nature, inside of me it's a god the creator Pursuing my dreams, cause anything is possible, you know what I mean I wanna live comfortable but gotta be clean But working every day from 9 to 5 in my thing I feel like a dream, can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time, overload I'm in trouble I feel like I'm trapped, can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload, I'm in trouble. Trouble, trouble, trouble. One by one, we start to subtract them. Separate facade from who really bought that action. Feel like I'm trapped in the room without a key. Full wall surrounding me, stripping my identity. Got me in the bubble to observe and deceive. Take away my culture and my nationality. Talking about double jeopardy and yeah. double standard to killing my folks. Like it don't even matter. And when we gather, disgusted by the charades. Bullets spray the crowd, target practice in the game. No accountability, so who bears the blame? They want to see us violent and justify the change. Back to how it used to be. Obey or you get beat It's a different time You fuck with mine You feel this heat Not a threat It's a promise Real shit Got the music as a platform For I awareness I feel like a trap Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload I'm in trouble I feel like I'm trapped Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload I'm in trouble let me out of this box I'm a claustrophobic robot Who knows not what he does Cause they program my thoughts And they tell me support this And hate that person If I don't then I'm crucified And made to be worthless Does a penny with two holes in it Have a purpose When he smiles They don't really know What's under the surface I'm a product of pain Racism and cocaine I never toot it once But it's all of my veins That shit is all of my genes See, it's my destiny This is nothing new kid I'm just an old recipe A boring story That you've heard hundreds of times Blah 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 Wham 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 Hate my life And my parents both suck I'll never be like them Then you grow up, get married, and end up just like them For the most part, it's our fault we're trapped in this bitch Shit, they gave us the blueprint, our dumb asses they I feel missing. like I'm trapped Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload, I'm in trouble I feel like I'm trapped Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload, I'm in trouble Trouble, trouble, trouble What up, loved ones? What it do? Spotty Young right here. You know where I'm from. Trip Game, man. Check out the homie Dust Vision TV, man. He speaks the truth, whether you like it or not. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Just naming a few, Pelican Bay, Kern Valley State, Tracy, High Desert, State Prison, which, uh, I mean, yeah, I could literally go on and on. I, I saw Oklahoma. I'm like, what the hell? How, wait, how did that, how does it, how does that work? Uh, how did you get locked up in Oklahoma? Or, or transferred or something? Or Yeah, yeah. I was in Califat, uh, which is close to home. I mean, like at least three hours away from, from LA County and, I was happy to be there because all, all, all those years I've been so far away from, from my family. So they were finally, it's easier enough for them to come visit. And some of the homies that were able to come visit and drive three hours, it wasn't that bad. So I had a good man. I, you know, people were supporting me, the people that, that, that cares or whatever. And then I was, you know, I, I was, I was, I was doing good. I pretty much have uh, all the, all the luxury that, that others probably had too. And, all of a sudden, my points came down to a level three, and then they were calling us to the council like, "Look, they got the COCF, the California Out of State uh, Transfer Program. You're eligible to go to level three. If you, I, I think I think you're gonna get a write up if if you if you refuse or something. Mm. And during that, I wasn't trying to get a write up. And plus, 
I want to know how it feels to be in a level three, man. Because <laughs> mm. I've been in a level four for so long. Let me, let me do that. Fuck it. Let me enjoy that, man. Because mm. I've heard a lot of good things also from the out of state. So, and I was hoping that I, I'll end up catching up with my homeboy Jumper and Snapper in out of state. Because they were already over there having fun. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck it. Sign me up. Let's do this. I'm ready for level three. Others are refusing it because they don't want to be too far away from their family because they're from California and they're pro- you know maybe they have a wife and kids that won't are aren't able to visit them all the way over there in the in the East Coast or whatever. But me, I, it's all good as long as I'm free, as long as I'm doing my time smoothly. Uh, it, it's okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So I left my, you know, I even ha- anyway anyway <laughs> my life. So. I left whatever I had in Calipat to my Sally and then ended up going to, uh, yeah, there you go. Oklahoma. I ended up going to the Oklahoma. Yeah. yeah. But there was a reception in Arizona first. Okay. So I was there for like a month or two and then took the bus all the way to Oklahoma. So explain to someone who's never yeah. been to prison what the significant differences are between a level three and a level four. Oh, okay. Uh, for me, from my point of view, in a level four, you're in the you have the criteria that your points of your if you're a troublemaker or whatnot, your points are up there to to where they have to house you in a level four. Because in CDC, they go by points of how good you're doing and how bad you're doing. That's how they they find out if you get right up, then they'll add four more four points. But so long story short, my points eventually came uh, down to level three and then and level three it's for me it's less politics it's more loose it's uh there's more people that has a parole date that's gonna get out unlike level four where almost everybody has life in prison you know some lwap some uh life without some with but anyways in level three in the uh, specifically where I went through the Oklahoma, the out of state program that the CDC was doing just because it's overpopulated. That's why they, they, they did the CCA thing. Uh, they, you know, they joined forces. Anywho, from, from what they told me in Oklahoma and Mississippi and the rest of the out of state prison, they are not allowing people that has life in prison to go in there. So, in my head, it's like, okay, no more lifers in there. This must be a good place because it's different when you have a, it's different, bro. When you hang around, when, when you're hanging out with the, with the lifers, people that they know that they're kind of like hopeless or Nothing they know that they're going to be there. It's, it's different because mm. they really don't have that much nothing to lose, man. Mm. Compared to if me and another guy like me that has a parole date, the chances of him murdering me it's not that high like we would we, we probably would fight but he probably won't try to finish me up all the way compared to if you're fighting with a lifer so what you know i got life anyways and plus it'll look good if i if i uh uh, uh i just i just finish you off if you ended up you know having a beef or or, or you know fight with a, with a lifer guy that was my mentality so i'm like okay this, this is this is good for me. This, this will show good for my record that you know I'm doing good, man. I'm, my points came down, so I was I was I was actually looking forward. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be far away from my family, but I was actually looking forward to what the out of state program had to offer. So I did it, man. I just signed the paper quick. Okay, let's go, let's go. So I went to Oklahoma. I know a girl that pops a perk before she brushes teeth. I know a dude that snorts coke at least twice a week. I have a friend who's married, but he still be fucking bitches. And his excuse is that his wife is always fucking bitching. I remember, hold up, sorry, I forgot to mention. I know a girl that used to cut herself to get attention. To get attention, I would always used to get detention. Getting suspended was my only life's mission. My little cousin went to jail, now he's facing life. Promised my aunt I'll look after him, but I lied. Working 60 hours a week trying to stack cheese. Ignoring texts from my family members every week. 
I'm a deadbeat cousin missing birthdays Promised my dad that I'll call him on Thursday But it's Saturday and I haven't hit him yet I know one day that is something that I will Slow down Take your time and focus Sip your potion Oh, slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion Oh, slow motion Yo, yo Yo. I write rhymes for the masses, introductory classes, bringing you up to speed, can't see, go get your glasses, we gon' mix it with the Lil Honey Jack, got the cherries at the bottom, you know I be eating that, so much going on in the world today, I think we need to slow down, chill, meditate, let me fly in the sky like birds, I'm using my imagination to script it with the words, so let's blow clouds, I'm sending you much love, I'm held down by gravity, my spirit is up above, hop in the sky, take a ride with me, 485 horsepower, with him now we gone in the wind, dipping off in the sunset Moving at the speed of light, car looking like a jet I bet it was another who wanted to shine But I'm two steps beyond, baby, this my time Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh, slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh, slow motion Look up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane Now it's just them chemtrails trying to take us out, man Population control, so the devil your soul For the money and the power, yeah, the ultimate goal Slow down Let that sink in, smoking on some clone guy I feel like I'm sinking in a pool full of liquor Incoherent, sober up, then I do it again Check me out Determination of a tortoise with the speed of a hare I'm blowing past some seas like I blow my smoke in the air I play this game to win this if I was on double bear And I'm always welcome back like my name was Mr. Carter Burn rubber like I burn my leaf Hard for me to slow down when my kids gotta eat I'm in the belly of the beast maneuver like Jet Li Translation man I'm quick on my feet Quick to defeat That's my suspicio or get hit with this heat What? What did he say? Can you repeat? That's my suspicio or get hit with this heat Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion What up, loved ones? What it do? Spotty Young right here. You know where I'm from. Trip Game, man. Check out the homie Dusty Vision TV, man. He speaks the truth, whether you like it or not. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Yeah. Now you're in the Philippines right now, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. How did you get back to the Philippines? Oh, uh, <clears throat> well, <laughs> after doing my time, they just uh, kicked me out, man. They said, uh, okay, we're going to take your green card away, revoke that, and so you're no, you no longer have the chance to apply for U.S. citizenship because we already took your green card away. Plus, since you're already a felon with a green card, uh, we're just gonna take it back because I, I guess that that's the that's the law. I heard before. Correct me if I'm wrong. Before during my time, U.S. or California to be exact was deporting people, sending them back before doing their time. Mm. But since since uh, in Mexico, most of the Mexicans will come back the next day. Mm-hmm. It's like you know you have a ten year sentence, but we'll deport you now, so you don't have to. Do, and then you come back and it's like damn. So now the law during my time is you're going to have to do all your time first. Then after doing your time, that's when we're going to deport you to your uh, respective country to where you're you're, you're originally citizen to. That's what, yeah, that's what, that's, that's what happened to me during my time. So when they deported you, were you still actively banging or was your life pretty much in a different direction? Oh no! When when I when when I when 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 I came back here, I had no intention of of 
gang banging or none of that freaking little kid stuff for me. For because of course learning a lot of things in the pen, good or bad, I, I decided that there's a whole bigger picture than this freaking nonsense. I, I I was able to explain why and how everything had happened the way it was and what can I do to be better and not go to the same route and stuff like that. And plus, of course, I was I, I was I wasn't selfish anymore. I wasn't thinking about myself anymore. I was fortunate enough to have a family and a, 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 a family members that loves me, and they're gonna be affected if something happens to me right now. Forget about me. What about them? They're gonna feel hurt. They're gonna they're gonna be affected. If 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 I was just by myself, then it'd probably be a different story. But you know, and plus, I gave them enough suffering already all those years. This has become extremely selfish of me to just think about myself again and just do whatever the hell I want, like I did before when I was 15 years old, 12 years old, 13 years old, as a little kid. Yeah. So now, you know, I'm just doing what I can, 1% better every day, by example, mm. to show that I really am a, an evolved and changed person from I was before, uh, 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 prior to incarceration. Yeah, I can hear it in your voice too. And you you are definitely changing the world. And one way you're doing it is through your YouTube channel. Um, it's so important for people who have been through a lot of shit like you have to have an outlet to actually talk about it and to maybe change other lives. What uh, what was your main reason for even starting your channel? Oh. <laughs> Hey, good looking enough for for uh, asking that. Uh, well, well, I mean, we, we uh, let me just say this: we were on lockdown, so all we did mm -hmm. at the moment was watch TV, man. And I just happened to uh, turn into uh, that one guy, the PC guy with the with the long. He used to have a long hair, and then uh, I was just listening to him rant, and he was talking about all kinds of stuff like. What the hell is this, man? So, <laughs> anywho, uh, I'm like, oh, shit, I, I can do this too or whatever and shit. My girl, on the other hand, she's like, fuck it, let's do something. Because my, my, my current job at the time, which is SMDC, the biggest uh, company in the Philippines, we're selling condos, it's, where it's, it's, a real, it's real estate. We're not able to go to the mall anymore because there was no more mall for us to be handing out flyers. And the sale, the sales, it's not all that. It's like, it's declining. So there's no, I was like, damn, what am I going to do? She, uh, she ended up, she ended up buying me a, a ring light and a microphone. But it was like one of those cheap ass microphones. But you know, anywho, since she, since she already did it, I was like, man, let's do this, man. So on May 28th, when we started uploading videos just right here in the room, just telling my story, telling my story, and somehow people are 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 are, are judging and like, hey, maybe this is maybe he's telling the truth, you know. And I was I was so confident that you know, because I have a lot of people that can vouch for me. I'm not gonna just make things up. Mm -hmm. That was yeah, that just that, that's not how I get down. Though. I want to show how uh, how I get down. I don't want to just make shit up just to uh, people to watch me and hype shit out and just, just to be not boring and you know but it's all good if they like me they like me if, if they don't they don't it's all good you um, know i fucking love and, hearing shit like that dude i always tell people out there you got to turn a negative into a positive i myself you know the coronavirus just locked me down and i had so much time on my hands that i was able to build my channel up you know and and to hear you do that shit too that that's that's dope as hell, man. I love hearing that. And to hear your girl was behind you and everything like that, that's that's really sick. And I know you're starting to reap the benefits of because I, I know how the YouTube game works and I know you're being monetized and everything. And I know you're starting to reap the benefits of just an idea that you had back on May twenty fourth, dog. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, man. Uh of course we're gonna turn uh, the negative into positive, man. We that, that's that's all there is to it. There's no other option. I like that. I like that a lot, dog. Sorry. Tell everyone out there once again what your channel is, where they can find you, and you're, the floor is yours, man. I want you. I want you to promote the hell out of your stuff. Oh man, good looking out. Uh, 
in, in so many few words, basically, my, my channel is called Pari Young. And this channel is about uh, inspiring others. And at the same time, people are inspiring me as well to be better every day. And it's all, uh, it, you know, uh, uh, what do you call this? The change that I, that I want to I wanna, I wanna stress this out that, uh, see, here's the thing, bro. Let me just say this. Go for it. Because I've noticed nowadays I've been, I've been out in the real world for, uh, for four years already uh, since 2016. And I study a lot of people. You know, you know how it is. You, you try to get to know a lot of people. And then I noticed also that, damn, in this world right now, after being gone 13 years, it's like God is not cool anymore. Nobody fears God anymore. Almost. Uh, I mean, they, they're trying to act like they do, or sometimes they will use it in vain. And I was like, why would people not fear God? So what is the reason for them to do good? They're afraid of a police record. They're afraid of going to jail because they hear a lot of stories that they might die or might get raped or whatnot. Why are they, why, why, why would you do good if you don't even fear God anymore? Cause you can just easily sell your soul for some money, scam people, just lie people and just be a, 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 a unjust person all the way. So I want to make it cool to, I want to bring it back. I want to make it cool that, Hey, I'm doing good because, uh, not just because of my family, just because I'm not selfish, but because somebody else is watching me, a higher being somewhere out there, whatever it is that you believe in Allah, whatever it is, you know, just because, because of that, you know, uh, so that's the reason that's my main, that's where I'm getting my morals from. Not because I'm scared to go to jail because I've been there. I'm not scared. And it's actually since, since I have 13 years of training, they're going to, they're going to need like the CSI for, for, for you know, to have us some, so, <laughs> but you know what, you know what I'm talking yeah. about. I, I just, I just want to, I just want to make it cool for people to, 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 to believe in God again and, and fear God at least. Uh, there's a there's a afterlife. We're gonna that. answer to somebody when we die. I love that man, and it's Bada Young P A R E Y O U N G on YouTube, and he has videos like uh, spending time in prison with Crips and Blood, spending the time in prison with Native Americans, spending time in prison with Cambodians. I mean, he literally just breaks down his time. We only had thirty minutes to talk about his story, but I encourage everybody out there to go check out his page because he literally goes into thirty to forty-five minutes on each story. He is detailed in debt. And it's a really dope, dope channel. You know, you guys out there know I don't really promote, you know, the BS. This dude is legit, and I really wish you all the best, Pada Young. It's really been a pleasure, man, and I really hope to have you on in the future. Yes, yeah, sir. Thank you for the opportunity. I want to send my utmost regard to you and, and what you're doing as well, Thanks. educating, advocating people. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat I had to rush out of my bed Cause I was late for work My motherfucking rent is due And my boss is a jerk Pencil pushing at the job An intermediate clerk My mama told me to go to school I'm going bananas berserk I work every day Don't know where the money goes My girl is big and pregnant Want me to paint her toes Only a high school diploma I'm smelling the aroma The greenery is burning in my room but life is a mama sita. She glad to meet ya. She back coming soon. <laughs> Better get the broom, my nigga. You clean up your house. She got a little more time to back out, cause she ain't your spouse. But do I love her? I need her. Maybe respect how I treat her. But when I see my baby, I'ma wanna go and feed her. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat.
job, just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. I was born in a space and time where people were stupid. Everybody looking for love, fucking with Cupid. Who did whatever they wanted to do with black fist up? Stand to opposition, keeping Hennessy in a cup. Drink, nigga, tell me what you think about God. The Bible is written by man, so people think of a side. Form your own opinion before you listen to white men. The system has got you on American bandstand. And when you get home, you gotta look in the mirror. Take off all the makeup and the wig is more clear. I fear a day when I can't smoke my weed. I drank my drink, my nigga, you know what I need. But success is a motherfucker. Shoes to feel. I got a baby at home. I need them big time deals. This shit just got real. It's going down tonight. Somebody gon' get jacked. Hope they don't put up a fight. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job and some food to eat. Blow that smoke right out your lungs. You go to church every Friday. Now you're speaking in tongues. You gave up chilling with friends. Pastor got a bend. Repenting on your knees. Confessing all your sins to the end. How far will it go? Why you naked, boy? He eating all your candy. Tasting your own joy. Troy, I can help you. Let me take you to outer space. If you're looking for God, meditate to the perfect place. Race, we moving at the speed of light. Traveling fast through a black hole. And in my days. A night. I'm trying to fight against the norm, my eyes are open, you see, cause I can only be me, not what you want me to be, classy, nigga born in the 77, daddy named Orlando, my name Kevin, Lucille, my mama, the girl true raised me, Kevin and Delilah, they having a baby, just give me a little bit of peace, steady job and some food to eat, just give me a little bit of peace, steady Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Really, the only solution is you're on board a single.